The McGowan government has announced a nation-leading testing blitz to find out if COVID-19 cases are going undetected. Bartenders, shopkeepers and healthcare workers will be screened without symptoms and testing will finally start in our schools. Until now, only people with fever or respiratory issues have qualified for COVID-19 testing. But from tomorrow, that changes. For two weeks, workers in so-called vulnerable groups and without a single symptom can also be swabbed. Those in retail, hospitality, meat workers, police staff and healthcare employees. Which is a nation leading in the testing of asymptomatic people. People who have plenty of interaction with the public. The aim is to find out if the illness is lurking in the community. It's not unusual for an actual checkout operator to handle 300 customers a day and touch the 600 to 700 items that that person has bought. And at the very least provide reassurance. It's people walking up and down the aisles, they might they might sneeze onto something that's on the shelf and a worker might come along and touch that product. The owner of three pubs and struggling under the 20 customer limit, Tim McLernan, hopes the results will lead to a further and faster easing of restrictions. We're currently entering uh, week 10 of basically being completely shut um, and it just can't go on much, not, much longer. Testing is voluntary and available at COVID-19 clinics, a drive through facility in Burswood and some pathology centres. And for students and teachers, finally in schools. The program gaining ethical approval four weeks after it was announced with consent forms to go out to parents soon. Renee Henry, Nine News. And there's good news tonight for West Australians left in limbo by the federal government's elective surgery ban. Renee Henry, the wait is finally over. Yes, surgeons, including those here at Bethesda Hospital, will be getting into their scrubs like this and making use of their theatres a whole lot more because from next Tuesday, elective surgeries will increase to 75% of normal activity with a full resumption from June 15. The government saying it is testament to WA's successful handling of COVID-19. But it has been around two months of surgeries either being cancelled or significantly reduced. So a warning, it could take a few months to clear the backlog. The message to patients is not to call your hospital. Instead, they'll be in touch with you. Michael. Wait almost over. Renee, thank you.